Hi everyone, this is Gern from Earthhaven. Welcome to my crib. That's my bed. And over there is my water tank. I poo and pee in the wheelbarrow. And basically, obviously, on my bed, I sleep on top of the crates. And yeah, during the night, I have nice open view. I can see everything, fresh air, don't need an aircon, don't need the heater, nothing. I just breathe and regulate my own body temperature accordingly. I'm just joking. Now this is, this is just a, a shed part for the horses and the equipment that we have. After the jokes, after some fun, I'm here to explain to you what I want to achieve with Earth Haven and to make that clear for everyone. So please take the time to watch this video and to fully see what Earth Haven is going to do. Now, first of all, I don't care if you're from America. I don't care if you're from Africa. I don't care if you're from Asia, India. I don't care if you're from Europe. I don't care if you're from Russia. I don't care where you are from, okay? This involves you. Why does Earth Haven involve you? Because it invol involves the Earth. It involves humans. It involves life. It involves animals, nature, ecosystems. It involves everything that we would like to change. Earth Haven seems like a small thing. Like, ah, uh, just some dude doing a charity or a fundraising or just collecting some money. Now, yes, that is what I'm doing. I am collecting money on Patreon where people are pledging to Earth Haven each month. Okay, that means you can pledge one dollar, a million. I don't care how much you pledge, as long as I'm getting people on board with Earth Aid, because it's about people. So one thing we have to always understand, it's about people. People, automatically, are the things that has an effect in this world. With the people comes the things they have, which is money, housing, cars, resources, or chickens, like I do. So, I would like people to come together under Earth Haven. The people that come together under Earth Haven will be specific. I'm not asking for the whole world to come together because that will probably be impossible since over 3 billion people live under $2 a day on this planet. While every single day 25,000 children are dying of starvation. While there are already dozens of charities and organizations in this world that is getting good people's money in the billions every year and nothing has changed. Why has nothing changed? Because if actual change has to happen, then these charities or foundations will stop existing or being needed. So they are maintaining a problem, they're not solving a problem. And I, as Earth Haven, see this. And I'm willing to change things and not maintain it. Because I don't care about my pocket and my money that I will have forever and ever and for my children and their children and children. I care about an earth that is well, healthy, and that looks after every being that is here, which includes my children, which includes my family, which includes everyone. And guess what? You don't need all the money in the world to change the world. You need effective, commonsensical plans. And that is self-sustainability. That is sustainability. That is bringing people out of poverty, bringing nature out of poverty, bringing the environment out of poverty. Everything is in poverty. And to create environments that starts enriching the environments, which is inclusive of, every, of everything. The animals, the buildings, the people, nature, everything. This is why it's called an earth haven. With this, you start affecting the environment around. So what you're essentially doing is, you are becoming a kind of a cancer, but a healthy cancer. Where you're planting an earth haven in a country, may it be China, may it be Japan, may it be uh, France, Germany, may it be America, doesn't matter where, we want to do it eventually everywhere. You plant an earth haven. You set it up within the earth haven's mission and purpose. And with this, you start affecting your environment. With these pieces of land that is bought with Earth Haven, 
we expand upon them. Meaning, if you start off buying, uh, let's say, 20 acres, if you have enough money, you add on another 20 acres. And this is how over 10, 20, 30 years, each earth haven expands, expands, expands. As the people come in, as the people work in the land, as the people look after the animals, after nature, they work their own food, their own housing, their own resources. You expand on the land. Not only that, once Earth even reaches an amount of money that is pledged and coming in every single month, we will buy land in this world that is not going to be an Earth haven. This land, for example, you will buy a forest that you will just leave to be a forest, but the government or uh, companies will not be able to exploit this land because it will be held in a trust with an earth haven by I don't know at this moment hundreds thousands of people all right so it cannot be touched it is left to nature to environment this is not where it ends in this world there are already good people doing good things and there's raining again sorry and they are not getting any support I mean, you've seen these people, you've seen this one guy that in the past 40 years planted an entire forest by himself, all right, in India. And animals, tigers, elephants, rhinos has come to this forest and they've lived there. But this guy has no support in this world. If he dies, what happens to that work that he has done? Where does it go? Okay? We need to be able to be the support for these people. There's a guy that Recently was a post on Facebook, he drives every day, or entire day, with a tank of water to go and give water to the wild animals because there's no water. Alright, and the animals goes there every day and drinks the water that he brings them. No one is, no one is saying, hey, let's support this guy because he's not just supporting himself, he's supporting environment, animals, life. And we can actually give funds or send out teams of people to go and be a support for this person. We can actually give him money and say, here, why don't you make your truck better? Why don't you get a bigger tank? Why don't you uh, be more efficient and effective? Because we're supporting you. Instead, everyone just shares a post and goes, oh, great job. But we don't consider what these people have to give up and what they did give up. And also the future of what's going to happen to their efforts if they die or if they are gone. It needs to be placed in a position where, for example, let's say this guy in India that now for the past 40 years build his own forest of 500 hectares or something. Imagine we can go and say, hey, let's put your land under Earth Haven Trust and you become part of the trust. So that when you die, you know what, you're, what you've done for this planet, for this Earth is safe. It's in the hands of many that stands within a purpose, a principle. And by the trust design, it cannot be touched. It has to be left. So, Things like this can be considered with Earth Haven, and which we will do. And we will be able to take care of all of these efforts and things that people have already been doing, but no one is there to actually support them, to say, here. Then another thing, I have seen now on Facebook, and people have contacted me on Facebook, they've tried to, to do the same thing as Earth Haven, where they're starting a community, or they are trying to live an alternative kind of lifestyle. So if Earth Haven has enough money, and when Earth Haven has enough money and when we have enough supporters, we can reach out to these people and actually support them. We can say, here, here's money, uh, buy this, fix this, so they can become more effective in what they're doing. So Earth Haven is about a hand also that will reach out and support and assist. Because this is what I want to do. I want to help the people in this world that is not being helped. If you look up all the companies currently that exist, Tesla companies or uh, go green companies they have all the support they need in this world but they are out for profit they're out to make money I want to help people that's not out to make money no one is helping them because no one is gaining money from them no one is making money from them I want to help people that in this world is doing something but they don't show any profit gains they show life gain I want to help people that show life gain and this is not the companies you're familiar with. This is not the people you're familiar with. I want to help the people in this world that has been doing what they're doing, but they've got no support from the system. They've got no financial support. No one has given a damn about them for decades, even though they've been doing it for decades. And I want to become the vessel with everyone at Earth Haven. When I say I, I'm actually mispronouncing it. 
we at Earth Haven must become the vessel of financial support, not only for Earth Havens, but to reach out to everyone else that's already doing something in this world. No? I, I'm gonna help you, but you must do this in return for me. We're gonna help them, and that's it. There's no ties. We're gonna give and propose how to secure what you've already created in this world, and how to make it more effective, and to become part of Earth Haven if you like. But we're going to support you regardless. Alright, this is what I would like Earth Haven to become. So, the people are already out there. When we say, when we see, for example, a wolf going extinct because their natural environment is being destroyed, which there is examples. Go check it out. There was a millionaire that bought an entire forest just so that the forest industry don't go and cut down the forest to preserve it for the animals. If that guy could do it because he had millions of dollars and Earth Haven collects millions of dollars a month, we can do this so many times. We can buy all the land we can and leave it for nature, for life, and not leave it up for money and profit. We can do this, because it has been done. Earth Haven isn't here to create anything new. It isn't here to proclaim we have the answer. It is here to effectively do what has been done, and to actually live it. But for this, money is required. And for this, we need lots of people giving a little bit amount of money each month to Earth Haven. Because we can achieve so much. And here at the current first Earth Haven, I'm showing you with how little we can get so much done. So imagine we have so much, how much we can get done. Because it's about how we spend the money. It's about where we spend the money. It's about what is our priorities. I have my priorities straight. And I would like everyone that comes to Earth Haven to also have their priorities straight. Or even if you don't, use it as a vessel to support and assist yourself. To start spending your money in a way that benefits life the benefits effective implementation of what's already here. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. And let's stop bragging and supporting companies that's already making millions and millions a year. Let's start supporting the things we don't see because they're actually having an impact. All right, that's the reason they're not being shown. It's the reason we don't have heard of it on the mainstream news or media. It's because they're actually having an impact. They're not about profit, they're about life. And yes, we have to use money as it is here currently. We're not fighting the money system. But I'm saying, instead of us buying a Coke, instead of us buying a bag of chips, instead of us indulging in ice cream and alcohol, instead of buying drugs, instead of going out partying every weekend, I'm asking for one dollar from every single person that watches this. One dollar of your 30 days for one month. And to give that one dollar to Earth Haven. And if we can reach a million people that pledges one dollar, imagine a million people pledging five dollars each, ten dollars, we will have millions that we can do things with that matters. So join Earth Haven, become part of the vision, make an impact in this world. And you can, you will be directly making impact with Earth Haven. Your name will be seen. Your voice will be heard. You know who I am. You can directly contact me on Earth. I'm not some secret dude sitting in the background that no one hears of, that no one sees of. Like all other companies in this world. I'm really doing something different here. I'm showing you here that this is a personal relationship between me and you. And even if there's a million people, I can create a million relationships. I hope. <laughs> but not everyone will always contact. But you always see my face, you always see me. I'm the founder, I'm the CEO, if you would like to call it that. But I don't like to call myself that. I just want to be a person with a lot of other persons, people, doing one thing together. And I hope you can see the vision. And it starts with the mission right here. And then achieving lots of missions. And while we do all the missions, which is building self-sustainable communities and empowering people and the people around these communities, we can, with the extra money, buy land, support other people out there that's already doing stuff in this world. We can support animals, we can do campaigns where we put money where our mouth is and we can do something. Instead of seeing something cool, we can do something cool. Instead of sharing something cool, we can be that something cool. We can enhance what we see in this world is cool by adding to it, which is our money, which is our vote, which is earth hate. So I hope this explains a little bit more to everyone. 
I will obviously explain in more videos in different other ways my mission, my vision, my purpose, and therefore Earth Haven. So if you have not signed up yet, if you have still disbelieved in Earth Haven, then know that every person that sees Earth Haven, which has been thousands, has a disbelief. And that's why there isn't thousands of people yet supporting Earth Haven. Remember, everything in this world succeeds because everyone had a leap of faith, a little bit of belief. And then it becomes real. And once it's real, then you can say, ha, huh, I made it real. So imagine we have five, ten thousand 10,000 people saying, yes, then it's real. But if everyone sees Earth Haven and says, nah, it's not gonna be real, then it's not gonna be real. And I'm okay either way, but I really, really like it. That everyone joins Earth Haven and make this real. Thank you.